Sunday video. Today we're gonna expose our first times. Honestly, someone sent us over a list of ideas and this was on it. So I think that like Buzzfeed may do this with people. I'm not really sure though, but I just Googled my first time and then it came up with 56 fun my first time tag questions you must answer immediately. Immediately, oh God. So, yeah, I'm sure this is like a trend or something. We didn't come up with this, but are we ready to answer some questions? The first one is the first app you check when you wake up in the morning. I'm like, <laughs> mine's usually Instagram. I think it depends if I have like a notification somewhere. I'll usually oh. just like swipe it, but either Instagram or Twitter for sure. The morning paper, if you will. Yeah, literally the news. Check what our friends are doing. We watch the news. It's <laughs> okay, Twitter. It's funny because when I open Instagram, it's everything that I like didn't watch from the night before. So I like see all of my <laughs> friends' all lives play out. <laughs> and, and I'm like, oh my god, they went to bed three hours ago. <laughs> you wake up and it's like us at Saddle Ranch two you, hours ago. No, yeah, for real. Sometimes that happens and I'm like, holy sh the trippiest thing is when you're like on the east coast oh it's the worst and you wake up at like 7 a.m on the east coast like it's everyone like, here's still out yeah <laughs> and it's like wait what it's very strange yeah instagram i would say yeah me. me too pretty much or twitter i'm like email <laughs> yeah right so boring the news app <laughs> stocks first broken bone i've never broken me a bone. neither cute knock on wood oh my yeah. god we're getting old here. and i don't drink right milk here. first foreign country you ever visited japan really mm -hmm. Yeah, I never left until I went on the Vine trip to Tokyo. I'm like, is the Bahamas another country? It's so funny because that just happened in um, The Real Housewives. They went to the Bahamas? <laughs> yeah, and Teresa was like, her daughter was like, is the Bahamas another country? <laughs> and then Teresa was she laughed and then she goes, wait, is it? <laughs> well, if I look real dumb. You're like, first... I've been in New Mexico. <laughs> I've never <laughs> been to Mexico. Comment? Could you imagine the comments? We were like, well, New Mexico when I was like 12 and then... <laughs> Yeah, I guess the Bahamas. Is that a foreign country? Yeah. I don't know. They're, I know they're islands. Did you have to use your passport? Yes. Okay, I think that counts. <laughs> right? First Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook post. Oh my god, I would love to see my first Facebook post. Oh my god, how do you even see that? Let's at least follow at first Instagram post. Oh, but like, I know mine's not, because I've definitely deleted stuff. I mean, yeah, I may have two. I guess whatever is first for now. I feel like my first Instagram post is going to be like my dad or something weird. Oh my god, my first picture is literally my dad and my grandfather. <laughs> oh. That's oh, so cute. cute. My second one? <laughs> <laughs> that that makes sense. Like I I posted more pictures of my dad than me. <laughs> Mine is something from Tumblr and it's it's so stupid. It's a receipt of like a hundred ramen noodles that someone bought and it just says no shame. What's the your caption? Post secret app before it closed. <laughs> Do you remember what post secret app? Yeah. It was like, wait, post secret. Oh my god, that's that website where they send in like secrets. So there was yeah. an app, I guess, where you could send in secrets anonymously and they would post them. I don't know why I was inclined to post this. I think I thought it was funny at the time. Yeah. First yeah. makeup item that we ever owned or that we yeah. use. I would say like, oh um, god, probably like eyeliner. Probably eyeliner or like lipstick as a kid. I don't know. Ooh, that's really tough to. What's the first thing you use on your face when you do your makeup? Now, yeah. Moisturizer. Was the first like makeup item though? A tinted moisture. Oh, okay. <laughs> first time you ever got into trouble at home and school. Oh my, I, don't I know. couldn't even remember. I remember my first time getting in trouble at school, and I'm, I was such like a goody too. Like I was always scared to get in trouble. Yeah. Have I told the story about the safety patrol thing? Maybe. I think I have. Well, I went on this trip with like a bunch of kids who did safety patrol, which is like the people who help kids <laughs> cross the street. Which is yeah, like, why would trip. they do that? <laughs> No, we went on a trip, like a little field trip to this like big lake that's in Omaha. And I guess they, at the beginning, they're like, do not walk around the entire lake because we won't be able to find you. Yeah, you've told me this. Okay, I don't know if I've told the like, You camera. can go and tell them. Um, and a group of us like started walking and I thought we were just walking for a minute and then shortcutting and coming back. We ended up going around the whole thing and I wasn't thinking anything of it. And as soon as we got back to where everyone was, everyone was looking for us. And we, they were like, get in the van now. We had to get in the van and we had to go to the principal's office. And I was like, I don't know, man, I don't know why. Did, Did you cry? I don't think I cried, but I was just like, what? I was like offended that I was in trouble. Yeah. I was like, why am I in trouble? I don't remember at home. I got in trouble a lot, but not like for like, like forgetting a bad grade or something. Oh, okay. Like school, I think the first time was when we were in chorus class. I feel like I've told you this before. It was like eight, eighth grade maybe. And we were in chorus class, but she was having us do yoga. It was chorus? Yeah. And so then like me and my friend were like messing around and we kept like <laughs> bumping each other and then she sent us to the principal's office. Oh my god. And I was Sorry like, for having fun. Yeah, and I was like such a good, like no trouble, like athlete, like never was in trouble. Yeah. And then I got sent to the principal's office and I was waiting for to be seen by the principal and like a cop who did you ever have cops just like walk around yeah. your school? He was like a 
a campus cop, but also like a real police officer. He like walked and he was like, don't tell me you're in here because you're in trouble. Aww. And I was like, yeah. And then I told him, he's like, are you kidding me? Like you're pals with him? Yeah. Oh, I love those relationships yeah. at school. Oh yeah, that was me. That's why I was prom queen. Because <laughs> the teachers voted. <laughs> oh, I love that. Those are the best relationships at school. Yeah, like walk but, in like, oh, I don't yeah. want to be here. But then like it. even the principal didn't care. Yeah, but also like the course teacher was the worst. I hated her. It's a little creepy. Hey, I know we're supposed to be singing, but we're going to be singing our butts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. First YouTuber you subscribed to. Whoa. I'm like, probably like David. <laughs> oh, well, no, I don't feel like I ever subscribed. I feel like Jenna Marbles was the only person I ever knew of until we like started. Oh, okay. Like yeah. I didn't That's know fair. that YouTube was like a thing. Yeah. But I probably never like hit subscribe because I didn't know you could. I think Jenna Marbles probably because she was like the first one. I know I watched Shane a lot like when we first moved here mm -hmm. I was like watching him a ton but I never like watched YouTube really before that so I didn't I even like, know it was a thing yeah Erin didn't know anything about it she thought it was just <laughs> clips of animals whenever we have, go on like podcasts or something everyone always brings up like old YouTube and they just name all these old YouTubers and I'm like mm -hmm. yeah you never know I'm like I have no <laughs> I do know what you're talking about. My first car. I had a Buick. We called her the Red Dragon, Whoa, so like intense. from old school. And she was great. It was a big boat, hand me down <laughs> car. I loved it so much. Like, I drove it till it died. Did you get it, like, when you turned 16? Yes. Like, I think when I got my driving license, it was like my parents were like, okay, we're gonna get a new car and you oh. can have this one. My first car was an Acura Integra. Ooh. <laughs> I'll put pictures of I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's not a sports car, but it's like a. I mean, it was, I think insurance wise, it was under a sports car. Wow. Yeah. And oh my god, I loved it. But somebody rear ended it. And. What did they, did your parents like, so was it, did you have like a sweet 16 and they like. Surprise me. Surprise <laughs> no. I think I got it like right after I turned 16. And like, I liked driving a lot, but I was, I hate change so much. I was like, uh, but I never can just like be in the car with my friends anymore. Cause I had like a group of friends that they already were driving. So like, I was so uh, used to just like hopping in their car and going wherever. And I was yeah. like, I don't want to have to like drive. I don't know. It was really weird. But then I like, I used when I loved it. <laughs> I was like, it's everything like, will so be so you. It's like, oh, FOMO. <laughs> yeah, literally. I was like, oh, I don't want like, oh, to. Oh, I loved driving. Such an interesting freedom. Cause you can just go whenever you want listen to whatever music you want, be by yourself. Like, I feel like when you live at home, it's like the only place you can really be by yourself is when you're like driving somewhere for the most part. Oh my God, so fun. <laughs> <laughs> my first ever cell phone. I oh, don't wow. know what it was called. It was the one that was like skinny and then got fat. What? I can't, oh. Skinny and got fat. I think it was skinny like- Skinny and got fat. Oh was it God. flip? Like a flip phone? Yep. I had to beg my parents to get me a cell phone and then I had to beg them to get me text messaging. Yeah. Oh like, my God. That's like- that's how you know we're older is you we didn't get phones till we were like yeah older. and texting was like an add-on to your plan like yeah. it didn't just like uh -huh. come with it. I don't know if it does now I, I would assume I feel like most of them are like unlimited texting too. yeah and but back like, then it was like you, okay, you like, only had hey yeah, yeah or like you only had like a hundred texts a month or something yeah <laughs> and so my whole <laughs> entire softball team they all had text messaging but they would always have to like call me and obviously like back then we were just using for it for like to tell you like I'm here yeah or something like if you're getting picked up and then one night, like three of my friends from the softball team who are like really some of my closest friends at the time, they came over to have like an intervention with my parents to tell them why I need to get text messages. <laughs> Did they get it after that? Yeah. Oh, that's so great. I love that. Mine was, um, I don't even know what it's called. I'll find it. It was just like a black basic phone and it was Motorola and it was a flip phone. Did it have like the light up on the side? No, it was oh. very old. Like, I don't even, I remember it was my dad's and he like let me have it, but mm -hmm. I feel like it wasn't really like mine. Yeah. And I couldn't do anything with it. Yeah. The good old days before iPhones existed. Oh my gosh. I remember so when the iPhone came out, I'm like, a phone that doesn't flip? What do you mean? No, yeah. I was like, it doesn't have a keyboard. <laughs> yeah. Like, how do you know what you're <laughs> typing? Because back then you could not look at the phone and just be typing. You could feel the buttons. Yeah. And you, it would have like T9. It was like, um, oh my God. If you know what T9 is. Like memory. Yeah. Muscle memory. Okay. So my first job. My first job was Panera Bread. I loved it. I worked there for a Yum. couple of years. Panera Bread Bowl. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. Her shop was Under Armour. And I only got oh. it because I wanted free things. <laughs> it's like, that'd be you now. I'd be like, okay, not I gotta like go, go work at our bench. I get a yeah, discount. Yeah, not like free things, but yeah, I would get a discount. My first piercing, and when did I get it? Probably my ears. Same. When I was like a kid. I don't even yeah. know, I remember. I don't remember either. But. Fresh out the womb, the doctor was just like, <laughs> did you go to like Claire's? Probably. I honestly have no idea. I, that's why I like can't wear earrings now because I've had them for so long that they're like really stretched out. But I feel like if I have kids, I would not take, I feel like everyone when we were little went to Claire's to get piercings. I don't think I'd take my kids there because it's just like 
I'm sure it's fine, but I feel like it's just like teens working. Yeah, no, I would go to like where we would go to get like a tattoo. Like my nipple ring pierced. <laughs> yeah. Because they're super sanitary and stuff. Yeah. I'm sure Claire's is too. I'm just judgmental, I guess. My first swear word. I don't know. Mine was fuck. Oh my god. That's so oh, no, 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 no. Mine was bitch because I was singing an Alanis Moore set song. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. And we were in the car. My parents, it was me and my two cousins and my parents, and we were on our way camping. The Alanis Moore set song came on, and as it was playing, like I sang all the words. And I'm two years younger than the cousin who then got mad at me for swearing. Oh. But I didn't know that it was a bad word. Oh. <laughs> so then she started being like, Auntie Melinda, like, Aunt Uncle Kenny, like, Come Aaron on. just said a curse, Aaron just swore, like, that's bad, she can't do that. So then I started crying <laughs> because I was like, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Did your parents get mad at you? No, because, like, they, they didn't. They, yeah, they're like, she, she doesn't know what it means. Yeah. Like, it's fine. I don't remember mine, but I remember when I was little, my mom watched all these kids, like, every day. It was almost like a little daycare. It was, mm -hmm. like, four of us. And I don't know why, but I thought the word body was a cuss word at one point, I guess, because I my friend Justin said it. And I go, Mom, Justin said body. And she was like, what? She's like, good <laughs> yeah. for him. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, I offended. I was like, I can't believe you said that word out loud. Oh, my God. I think I got it confused with another word or something. My first tattoo probably doesn't have any tattoos. I don't. Aaron has some, though. I did. This is my first one. What does it say? It says family in Gaelic. Me and all my... My two cousins that actually told on my me <laughs> got these first because they're the old or older ones, and then we all get it now. It's like our whole family has oh, them. Cute. The first text I sent today, mine was texting TJ's mom happy birthday. Mine was texting in this blog spot group chat. I said in all caps, ha 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 ha. It's because David said, ha ha, look at Jonah's bumble boomerang, and half of it he's yelling at his camera guy to walk slower. <laughs> and literally, <laughs> when you watch it, you can see him mouthing like walk slower, but he's still like trying to smile and like be fun in the boomerang. It's, so, it's such a Jonah pose. The first time you ever got drunk. <laughs> Do you oh remember yours? I know. <laughs> what was yours? I feel like ninth grade was the first time I got drunk, but my friend's mom, she would never be home, and they had like a giant bar at their house, and she had older siblings, so they would have like parties, and then one time we were just there, and I was like, well, let's yes, down drinking. the hatchet. <laughs> but like, I'm not saying go and do that, but I mean, that was it. And we were all, we would never, we wouldn't leave the house, like we were sleeping over, so it's not yeah. like we were like... People were drinking and driving or anything, but it, I don't know. Do you remember what you drank? We would just, we would, it was like so cliche, like drinking like anything we could find behind the bar that you could refill with, with water. water. Oh my god, imagine being an adult and like having a drink and like, why is this water? Oh my god, I'd be so pissed. Yeah. I can't believe that people actually did that. I thought that was like a oh, myth no. or something. People yeah. literally filled alcohol back up with water. Yeah. You should have tried it. It was fun. I know. It's, too, it's like you're breaking the law. I was too busy uh, going with to the principal's office with the, at the lake. <laughs> you were so busy with the patrol. <laughs> Safety patrol saving lives. <laughs> I think my first time getting drunk was, it was like after high school. I was you, were, my, you were like, well, I think it was like last year. It was the day I met Aaron. <laughs> I was with my boyfriend at the time at his ex-girlfriend's house. Like it was weird. Like we were all friends still. And she was having like a birthday party and I'd never really drank. I feel like I drank a lot of tequila or something. Ooh. But I wasn't like hung over at all. Yeah. It was so strange. I guess that's just being young. But I remember I got like pretty drunk and then like me and my bed, Caitlin, slept in the basement together and I, we both woke up and I was like, oh, I feel fine. But then I like diarrhea. <laughs> but I didn't oh. feel hungover. I wasn't like Yeah, tired. when you're younger, like you just don't get hungover yeah. unless you're like throwing up violently. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys learned a lot about us. <laughs> Our, first Our first time. time. Guys, let's do this again and like name other things. I feel like there could be different questions Yeah, too. totally. This was just like a little site. Like a basic BuzzFeed yeah. kind of one. So hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And, and we'll see, see you on Tuesday. Tuesday. Bye. Bye.